Oh, it's, it's a glass of water, half empty. Well, I see a glass that's half full. Oh, darn it. It's going to be partly cloudy. Oh, great. It's going to be partly sunny today. Hi, I'm Nancy Friedman, the Telephone Doctor. Our program today is about attitude and how you can benefit from a more positive attitude. Now, before we go too much farther, let's make sure we're all on the same page. By attitude, we mean a complex mental state that determines your feelings, thoughts, and beliefs as they relate to the events of your life. Put another way, attitude is like your posture in life. It's how you filter the events you experience and how you react to the way they're filtered. The way you respond to every event in your life is controlled by your attitude. Two individuals could experience the exact same event, but their different attitudes could cause opposite reactions. Now, just how important is the subject of attitude? Well, the answer is it's something that will affect the quality of your life every day. Consider this quote. In other words, while life sometimes throws curves your way, you have the power to control your response by the attitude you decide to have, no matter if it's a customer, a coworker, friend, or acquaintance. Do you tend to perceive things in a negative light? Or are you more inclined to see the positives in a situation? Let's get a little deeper into this important area. The specific subject we're going to focus on today is what's known as a positive mental attitude, or PMA. A positive mental attitude is defined as an overall tendency to perceive the benefits and opportunities in situations and not focusing on potential setbacks. A positive mental attitude will influence every aspect of your life, from how you deal with difficult customers, to how you interact with your coworkers, to your personal relationships away from the workplace. So how do you get a positive mental attitude? How do you keep it during challenging times? Do we wait and see what happens before we decide our attitude? Or does our positive attitude determine how we'll handle what happens to us? Now, think for a moment of the most positive person you know. Could be a family member, a business acquaintance, a friend, or someone from your past. And once you've decided who the most positive person you know is, take a moment to think about why you think they're always so positive. Are their life conditions such that they can't help but always be positive? Probably not. We all face setbacks. Chances are the person you're thinking about has set up a behavior and belief system which helps them develop and keep a positive mental attitude. So why is it that certain people remain so positive and have such a great attitude when other people are so negative and have such a bad attitude? The answer lies ahead. We've identified seven keys to achieving a positive mental attitude. Here we go. The first key is to understand that attitude is a choice you make in advance. Unfortunately, many people wander around reacting negatively to events that happen to them. People with a positive mental attitude have decided in advance that their posture in life is going to be one that perceives the benefits and opportunities of the situation. Now, for the sake of discussion, let's say you have two basic attitudinal choices to make when experiencing any event in your life. Reactive waiting for events to occur, and then responding according to what happened. Proactive, deciding in advance how you'll act, not being easily influenced by events outside of your control. Watch these examples and you'll get a clearer picture of each choice. Hi, Joe. Hey. Hey, listen, sorry to do this to you, but we've got a major backlog of work. I'm going to need to pull you guys in this Saturday. Thanks. No way! Oh, man, that really stinks. <laughs> I wanted to sleep late Saturday. Hey, maybe I'll just have to call in sick. We just saw Joe react to the news that he's needed at the office Saturday morning. Let's see the same example with Monica, who's a proactive person with a positive mental attitude. Hey, sorry to do this to you, but we've got a major backlog of work, and I'm going to need to pull you guys in this Saturday. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Thanks. Well, maybe it's not what I had planned, but it'll be okay. At least we get paid time and a half. 
we just saw two different reactions to the same message. In both cases, the team member was required to work on Saturday. The first one, a negative reaction. And in the second case, a more positive response, a PMA. Now, Monica is a positive person. She's aware that attitude is a proactive choice you make in advance, and her choice is to have a positive mental attitude, no matter what little setback comes her way. Remember, you may not be responsible for everything that happens to you, but you are responsible for how you handle it. And having a proactive mindset means choosing the attitude you'll have before you know what kind of hand life has dealt you.